Hi, my name is Eric and welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a while since you've seen me on here and long story short, the only reason why I've been gone is I've been consistently working so I haven't had the time to actually just think about what videos I should film for my YouTube. So it's like, you know what, might as well, you know, do a video today because I'm just like sitting at my house bored and all that other stuff. So it's like, might as well do a fragrance collection video. I don't really talk about fragrances all that much and this is a completely different setup th than I'm usually to because y'all see me all the way over there. It's a different place, different area of my room so I was like you know what let me just switch it up here and there. I usually film right in front of my closet door but I wanted to switch things up today but disclaimer before I get into my fragrances. Yes I am a man, gay man that loves to wear makeup and I also love to wear colognes as well as feminine fragrances so i will be like i don't really care about your opinion you're not wrong to have your opinion but it's like don't tell me what i'm supposed to wear like men shouldn't be wearing makeup men shouldn't be wearing feminine fragrances if it goes well with your skin chemistry regardless of who you are then if it goes well with your skin chemistry and you like the fragrance you can do whatever the hell you want so I'm glad I got that off my chest, but if you want to see what I have in my fragrance collection, we're talking about the actual like serious glass bottles today, maybe in a different video because I have like plenty of like body mist and body lotions and stuff like that. If y'all want me to discuss that in a different video, let me know and I'm going to show y'all how I store my fragrances first because this probably is going to take a little long, long video, so grab a snack. And let's get started. Technically, if you already seen the thumbnail before you clicked on this video, you already see how I store my fragrances, but I try to categorize them by like all celebrities, like two Rihanna's, all my Ariana scents, all in one, and then all of my Kaylee's. I try to actually categorize them by like brand and make them look pretty to look at. At one point, all of my fragrances were all on just like one bookshelf. Like it's a huge mess so it's like I'm happy I was actually able to clean one shelf off and add more to my collection but it's a pretty decent amount of fragrances that I do have in my collection but these are all of my travel sprays so that's how I store my fragrances so now that you saw my fragrances let's actually get into my fragrances now I'm not gonna get into every single like fragrance note to be completely honest I'm just gonna talk about it just a little bit because I feel like this video is gonna be extremely long and I don't want to have to be bored with myself having to watch this over again when I edit this video but let's just get into the travel sprays first. I only have five travel sprays so I have Jojo Armani My Way. I have a decent dent to which I do enjoy the scent but where I live currently it has reached spring and I feel like this is a perfect floral like fruity floral for like the spring months spring summer months because it's very fresh it's not super like powdery florals or anything like that but I've always wanted this and I just got a travel spray just because I don't know if it's gonna last on me I've used it quite a bit but I've just sprayed it in the air and such but Next is Valentino Donna Buena Roma, The Coral Fantasy. I, yet again, like the My Way, this is a little bit more like a citrus floral, not super, yeah, it was like a fresh floral kind of thing, like more citrus. Definitely something I would wear in like the dead of like the warmer months coming up. We are in currently in spring, so I'm gonna find myself probably reaching for this a lot more along with the My Way, but so far I have not plated with my skin so I don't know the longevity or the longevity of the my way but I like both of the scents. Next this is uh, Lake and Sky Midnight Number 7. This is I got this for free because I work at Ulta so I got this for free completely so I did not purchase this myself. I wasn't even looking at this fragrance but I was curious about this brand now because I've seen a lot of people talk about the 1111 which is like very musky more like a skin scent almost this is completely different like 
if I remember the notes off the top of my head, like vetiver, rose, fig, a yuzu, berry note, and patchouli and like vanilla, if I remember the notes, but I would never wear this in like the dead of the daytime. I would wear this mostly like during the nighttime. Like if I'm going out clubbing, which is rare, but I have not played with this and tested out the longevity, but so far, I don't mind the scent. Next fragrance is Clinique, My Happy. This is Coco and Cashmere. As you can see, I have literally, I'm almost running out of this because I like this scent. This is probably the only scent of Clinique that I actually really do enjoy because it's very vanilla, very like a creamy vanilla, pretty much like an easy reach for me to just throw it in my bag and just go be on my merry way. But it's not super cloying to where it's like, you know, like, you're gonna be noticing it when you hug me, I think. It's not very, like, cloying. It's not, like, kind of, like, arms reach a little bit. The longevity is pretty moderate, like, three to four hours. It's not super, like, long-lasting on me, to be completely honest. But I always mix this with, like, a vanilla body lotion and stuff like that, so I don't mind this. I discovered this... My mom actually had this, so I was like, every time I smell this, it remind, reminds me of my mother. Next, this is the, the K Ali. The name is rubbed off, but this is the Manila Royale Sugar Patchouli. I kind of enjoyed this scent. I had a, like, I was growing to love it. When I first bought it, because I bought it the first day it came out, it's very intense, like literally two spritz and you're good. Like you do not need to over spritz this because I've gotten compliments from my coworkers and they like it, but it's very intense to where it's like very headache inducing. So you do not want to overdose on this fragrance. Like I can overdose on the Clinique My Happy because it's very not long lasting. This one's definitely more long lasting in terms of projection, but this one, yeah it's not really like in your face like you're not going to be like walking into a room smelling this on me this is one of those fragrances to where if i walk in a room people are going to smell me people are going to smell me within a certain distance you can smell me because it has an incredible throw incredible projection but those are all of my travel sprays like I said, I am planning on getting more travel sprays. I do have another travel spray coming in the mail soon. It is the new Kaali scent, the Young Pistachio Gelato 33. I've heard a lot of reviews about that fragrance, but I wanna see how I would layer it with other scents that I have, cause I have my own little like concoctions of what fragrances that I like to mix with and combine and stuff like that. So I'm excited to try that scent out. But now let's get into the serious glass bottles. Starting with my first cologne, this is Dior Sauvage. I've had this for at least a year and a half, almost close to two years, at least a year and a half, because I bought this with my employee discount when I used to work at Sephora, not anymore, but <sighs> it's crazy how everyone is like, even then when I first bought it, people were still obsessing over this fragrance. I don't use it all that often because this is very headache inducing. Like you do not need to over spritz this again because I do have family members that are very sensitive to fragrances. And this one, as I've heard from my aunt, smells very like, not a fan, but maybe I just have to go very light handed with this. I enjoy it. Like I really enjoy this fragrance, but I haven't used it that much. I feel like this would be a good like, going out type of scent like not really on a date but like just a night out i guess you could say next these are technically knockoffs chanel fragrances so i have the pure this is supposed to be a knockoff of the green chanel which smells phenomenal smells phenomenal i was actually wearing this today already so i was like you know what let me respritz it it smells very fresh Smells very fresh. Fresh, not so much clean. Doesn't smell soapy or anything like that, but it just smells like fresh greenery. Not like a greenery, like grass or anything like that, but it just, just smells very fresh and floral. And I actually paired that fragrance 
this fragrance or the green Chanel, I believe, the O Fresh, I believe that's how you pronounce it. But I pair these two together, the Beautiful Day from Bath and Body Works with this, because it's very, this one's very like clean scents. It's not cotton or like linen or anything like that, but it just smells very like fresh and citrusy a little bit. So, so far been enjoying this. And then this is another one that's supposed to be an alternative, a cheaper alternative to the pink Chanel, the Eau Tendre, I believe. Oh my God, it smells so good. I could not stop spraying it yesterday. I could not stop spraying it. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. They're both like $17. I still have the tag on them, but if you can find this at your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Burlington, I have sprayed the living hell out of this and I can't stop spraying it. So longevity, I cannot say about this fragrance yet because I've only had it for a day, but so far this one, I have to re-spritz a couple of times because it does stay a little li a while, but it's not like super projecting. But next, this is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. This is the 1.7 ounce. I heard a lot of people say that they love this fragrance. Very popular. And I wanted to get my hands on it because I heard a lot of people say that it's good, but it's very intense. You do not want to over spritz this. At first, I was okay. It wasn't a love at first sniff. Yeah, I had to grow with this fragrance, if you know what I mean, if that made any sense whatsoever. The, bat the bottle was really pretty to look at. Like, I love having this on my little bookshelf over here, but longevity, even when I don't smell it, people still smell it around me. So it's like, yeah, yeah, you do not need to over spritz this fragrance. On me, it lasts about like six to seven hours until it comes like a skin scent on me, but I always mix it with like a body lotion. So the next fragrance is, well, this is another one from TJ Maxx because it has the tag on it still, but this is Acai Bay. Don't even know how to pronounce it, but I hope that's how you pronounce it. But this is another one because I like to have variety in my scents. I love to be that person when you just walk in a room, you can smell me. And I also want to be that person where it's like fresh and clean fresh, clean, sweet, florals, all this other stuff. Very on brand for me, but this one's very like fruity musk, like a fruity musk. Something I personally would wear fresh out of the shower. Like it just smells very, not clean. It's very musky, but you definitely get that acai, like that berry note in there. Forgive me if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but I have reached for it quite a bit though. Like. I love this fragrance. It's very moderate in terms of longevity, but so far, this is the first fragrance that I've ever tried from this brand. And I believe they have this at Urban Outfitters. This one, this was like the jumbo size. It was literally like $20. So I'm definitely planning on trying more fragrances from this brand. Now let's get into my designer fragrances. I have Burberry. I have both Burberry Her and the Burberry Her Elixir. If I had to pick a favorite, I would obviously pick this one because Burberry Her Elixir is just, oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. This smells like a snack. If you want a fragrance that'll make you smell like a snack, definitely this one. Because to me, I was watching a video on YouTube. It was, the channel name is Gossip Closet. I'm obsessed with his YouTube channel. And he was reviewing this fragrance and he was pretty much describing it as like powderiness, strawberry powdery, like powdery, like marshmallows, like strawberry marshmallows. And I, I can't stop smelling it. Oh, yes. I am obsessed with it. The longevity is there. I love pairing this with like my strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body Works, the body lotion or the body cream. But this by far my favorite, but you would think this would be my favorite because I've actually gone through at least one bottle before and this is my second time repurchasing this bottle, but... Oh my gosh. This one, I like this one, but it's very fresh. 
it still has the aspect of the Burberry Her Elixir, like good strawberry notes, but it has a little bit of like a fresh note in here that I don't mind wearing in like the daytime in the summer, spring, summer months, but I like both Burberry Her fragrances. I haven't tried any of the other ones. I'm definitely eyeballing the Burberry Her Blossom. That one I'm very interested in getting, but right now I'm kind of like waiting to get rid of one because I feel like if you have one, you don't really need all of them personally for me. But so far, if I had to pick one from Burberry that I really enjoyed, Burberry Her Elixir. Next fragrance is the OG Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I am obsessed with this. I'm trying to think about like other words to say around this video because it's like I don't want to sound like a broken record and saying like oh I'm obsessed with this oh I love this oh my god it smells amazing like I'm trying to think of different words so I don't sound like a broken record but I'm addicted to this I'm addicted I'm addicted I had a little like sample vial like a little dabber like last year when it was like National Fragrance Day got this and I couldn't stop like using it like that was gone and then I ended up having some Ulta points and I ended up getting the three ounce, 3.4 ounce bottle. And I don't regret it as you can see because I'm almost, almost gone with this. It's very expensive so I'm debating whether I should get it again, get this bottle, get this size again, I'm debating. I like the scent but it's expensive for this size. My God, this is the 3.4 ounce, I think. The, um, the thing has changed, the prices have changed, so even more expensive than what it was, but I kind of like this scent in terms of longevity. I don't really care for this scent because on me, I feel like it lasts about like four to five hours, which is pretty moderate, but it's like, I thought with the actual sprayer, because I do love the sprayer on this fragrance. Did I even say the name? No, I did not, but this is Gucci. Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia which has white gardenia, grandiflorum jasmine, or least that's what it says on the back, pear blossom. I love this fragrance. This is probably one of my go-tos for the spring months that we're approaching right now, but longevity, I don't think it's there. And I bought the big three ounce bottle because I have some Ulta points that saved and I ended up buying this full price. So far, I enjoy it, but longevity, I don't know if I would ever repurchase it just for the longevity of its own, to be completely honest, because it's fine, but I only would repurchase it just because of the scent. I do love the bottle, though. Like, the bottle is really pretty to look at as well, as well as the cap. Like, come on, let's be real. Like, get into that detail. Next fragrance is Jimmy Choo. I have the I Want You, the OG I Want You. I did have the other I Want You fragrance, the black and gold one, that was completely gone. I got that as a Christmas gift, but yeah, I discovered this fragrance from Kathleen Lights on Instagram, not Instagram, but yeah, on Instagram and YouTube, but I was watching one of her videos, her fragrance collection videos on YouTube, so I was like, whoa. And I was getting into fragrances at the time, and I was like, last year last year as well as 2020 but mostly 2021 and 2022 i was just watching like binge watching a lot of fragrance videos because i was getting into fragrances and working in retail a lot of people buy fragrances and you want to hear people's recommendations you want to give people recommendations on the good sense so it's like as soon as i smelled this at ulta i was obsessed with it i was completely obsessed and i got plenty of compliments from my coworkers. so this is gonna be a repurchase of me because I love this scent. I believe one of the notes, definitely like a fruity floral. A fruity floral is very pretty. Like, I love this scent. I did have a travel spray, so I did not go ahead and buy the full size of its own. So that travel size was gone and it's like very fruity floral. I believe it has peach and vanilla in here. I am obsessed. I'm addicted. I think this is the last designer fragrance that I have in my collection. I think, I guess you could say, um, Kayali is a designer fragrance. Some people say it's niche, but this is Lancome and this is Idole or Idol. This is the OG. I really enjoy this. I enjoy this. I remember going to um, Ulta like two years ago, like 
like 2021, late t holiday 2021, and I was buying a fragrance. I was curious, because one of the girls, one of the associates at the time actually recommended this to me. I was like, at first I enjoyed it, but I didn't know if I like it. I didn't know if it was gonna be a love for me at the time. Now that I own it, clearly, as you can see, I'm almost running out of it, so. This is like the perfect rose fragrance for me because I think it does have rose. Don't quote me if I'm wrong, but rose, I believe iris and vanilla. I could definitely smell some sort of like, like vanilla in here. <sighs> I love this. This is a scent that you could probably wear every day of the year, but mostly because of that floral no that it has, I probably would wear it a lot more in the spring or spring months, but so far, I've been enjoying it. I'm definitely gonna have to get a, uh, another bottle. This is the 1.7 ounce though. Now let's talk uh, Finery Fragrances. I This is a new brand that you can find at Target. I have the Midnight Cafe, which is the first fragrance that I ever purchased from them. And then I have probably one of my favorites that I've tried so far, Magnetic Candy. Ooh. love love this scent it's very it smells exactly the name candy like cotton candy marshmallows like you don't really smell marshmallows in here but you definitely get that cotton candy sweetness in here love i do have the matching body mist with the magnet magnetic candy as well so as you can see i've been abusing it so there's that Next fragrance, I already mentioned it, but it was Midnight Cafe. It's supposed to be kind of like a dupe house, kind of like cheaper alternatives to higher end fragrances, but yeah, this, I've never, sm I've smelt Black Opium, but I've never owned it, but this kind of reminds me of Black Opium a little bit. Very similar, mostly because of that coffee note, but I enjoy it. I mostly used it a lot more in like the warmer months because it's very like coffee scents. Like I would never wear it in like the dead of summer and like spring months, but I definitely would mix this with like a strictly just like vanilla, ambery type of scent. I would never just wear this by itself unless I'm mixing it with a vanilla fragrance, like I said. I don't know if I mentioned the, uh, I don't know if I mentioned the longevity of the, um, Finery fragrances or the Lancome, but those two are kind of like moderate. The, long, the Lancome one kind of lasts a little bit longer though, like at least six hours on me, but the Finery kind of like four to five, like pretty moderate, but it's not too bad though. Next fragrances I have is Ellis Brooklyn Salt. This one's kind of like your sun tanny, sunscreen type of scent. I kind of like this scent though. It's hard for me to find a fragrance a body lotion that actually goes well with this unless it's like strictly just coconut but i was wishing i was gonna try this coco paradise with this scent but not a huge fan of it 10 out of 10 do not recommend but this by itself probably with like a coconut like a strictly coconut scent not like a creamy coconut not like like the coco paradise is like more like suntan lotion no, I haven't used it as much. I've only been like spraying in the air, but this is mostly just like strictly a summer scent. Like on a vacation, all this whatever. I like the size though. This is like probably the only size that they have, the 1.7, but I bought this last year. It was like Black Friday at Ulta. So I was like, got it for a decent discount. So not complaining so far. So I cannot attest to the longevity of this fragrance. So we'll see in the summer though. This I can attest to the longevity though, but this is Gingham Love from Bath & Body Works. I know they just came out with some new Gingham scents. I have tried the original Gingham and like a little body, body mist, but this is the first time I've ever owned any Eau de Parfums from Bath & Body Works. I do have the matching body lotion with the scent. This one, as well as the Valentino Donna Border Roma, the OG, those two were like kind of like my splurge items for Valentine's Day and stuff. And I was like, yes, 
I was obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with this. So this is, I'm probably gonna re-spritz this a lot more in like the spring months, but I feel like this could be a good scent that you could wear any day of the year because of how fruity and floral it is. You could wear it any day of the year, but where it shines the brightest is probably like in the spring months. So, so far, not mad. The longevity is pretty moderate, so. Next fragrance is a cologne. This is G-E-I-R, and you can find this at your local, not really local, what, the, what what was I saying? But you can find this at Walt Disney World. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Like, interesting, but yeah, I kind of, I do like this scent though. It's pretty moderate in terms of longevity, but I've gotten compliments when I go to work because it's very like work appropriate, I guess you could say. It's not super cloying. I feel like the Dior Sauvage is a little bit more cloying. It's a little bit more projection, but I was obsessed with this as first spritz because one of my cousins had it and that made me interested in getting it so I was like absolutely I'm getting it so so I had to get the biggest bottle that they have so and as you can see I am pretty much halfway with this bottle so next time I go to Disney World in Epcot Norway definitely gonna have to get another bottle because I don't care for the spritz though like it's pretty moderate spritz, but there's some fragrances that I like the atomizer, the spritz, the spray a lot more. So the next fragrance brand is Mix Bar. I have four fragrances from them, starting with my least favorite, which I think it's actually leaking. I don't know if you can see that, that is foul. But yeah, it's leaking. Yeah, <sighs> sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'm not gonna keep a fragrance that's just leaking. I'm sorry about that. But that was Blackberry Tonic, by the way, to which kind of smelled like a scratch and sniff. Not a huge fan of that fragrance, so I'll, yeah, I'm not keeping that fragrance to be completely honest. I think I got a bad one, but the next one that I actually really do enjoy a whole lot more than the Blackberry Tonic, Sparkling Hibiscus. If you have the Champagne Toast from Bath & Body Works, the body lotion, try layering it with this, cause, oh my God, I just did it the other day. I was obsessed. I was obsessed, obsessed. So if you do have the Champagne Toast from Bath & Body Works, body lotion or body cream, whatever you may prefer, layer it with this. That I, I obsessed. It smells like a beautiful fruity cocktail that you would have on a beach. That's the only way I can describe this scent. I haven't worn it that much because it's strictly just like very fruity and stuff like that. Something probably Bath & Body Works would come out with, but yeah, I love this. Mix Bar is probably one of my favorite brands as of right now, but yeah, because all of their like serious like Eau de Parfums are like under $30, so like not expensive at all. My second favorite, possibly my first, but Coconut Palm. Coconut Palm. If you love a good coconut, a creamy coconut, you're gonna love this scent. I love this scent. Oh my God. I don't even wanna waste it, but I just, oh my God, yes. Absolutely, yes. Highly recommend getting a body mist at least. Getting at least a body mist because, oh my God. Yeah, I'm obsessed with the coconut palm. The first fragrance that I've ever purchased from Mix Bar was vanilla bourbon. This is actually my second time repurchasing this scent because I love it that much. It's mostly giving me like cozy vibes in like the fall and the winter. So I mostly would wear this in the fall and the winter, but I feel like you could wear this set any day of the year, but because of how warm and cozy it makes me feel, it kind of like makes me want to wear it a lot more in the fall and the winter months. But as of right now, I probably wouldn't reach for it as much, but definitely in the fall and the winter, I'll definitely pull this out a lot more. 
So that's all my fragrances on one shelf, on one bookshelf. Then we're gonna go onto the top bookshelf. I have all of my uh, celebrity fragrances. So starting with Rihanna, I have the Fenty Perfume, which is this one right here. I'm obsessed with this. A lot of people say that it's more like spicier on their skin, which to me, on my skin, I don't really get that spiciness. I get a hint of it, but not super spicy where it's like disgusting because I'm not really a huge fan of spicy fragrances. Like smoky tobacco, I'm not really a huge fan of that. Like I'm mostly, to me at least, I get mostly just like the magnolia and the fruity notes and the florals. But I don't know if you can see this. Oh my God, that sprayer. Love, but the scent. Love even more, a little bit more, but I wasn't expecting Rihanna to come out with this scent as her, like her first scent, like Fenty perfume but the bottle is like absolutely obsessed. And oh, yes, I don't reach for it all that often because it can get very, like very intense. And some of my family members don't like it on me, but I enjoy this. The other Rihanna scent that I have is Riri by Rihanna. This I really enjoy. I really highly recommend this scent. I would have to re-spritz it at, like, at least like four to five hours in, but on to me, I like this scent. I actually discovered this scent by Chloe Yasmin on YouTube and she was doing like a perfume declutter and she was had this scent and I was like, ooh, yeah. I was looking at the notes and I was like, oh yeah. And Chloe actually described it as like a, I guess, more mature version, somewhat similar to Pink Chiffon from Bath & Body Works, to which, to which Pink Chiffon, I actually ran out of the body cream because I would layer it with this. But yeah, I love this scent. Love this. Definitely would have to repurchase this myself. The next fragrances I have are, this one is Sofia Vergara. This one I really enjoy. I highly love this. I really do enjoy this. This kind of reminds me of Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel, but just with a little hint of like fruitiness. It's not super fruit or it's like star fruit, like star starburst or anything like that, but it's like elegance. Like, I don't know, I would wear this on like a fancy dinner date, like something like that. Like maybe on a red carpet, but probably you'll never see me on a red carpet. I have to be completely honest, but love is literally like under $40 so you can get this on fragrancenet.com it smells very similar to Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel the only one that I've ever tried from Sofia Vergara and I actually really enjoy this pretty moderate longevity but I've gotten compliments from co-workers of mine and they enjoy it on me so I really enjoy it it's not like five million people are just giving me compliments but one or two, maybe three, are giving me compliments, so, which is more than usual. Interesting. <sighs> Billie Eilish, the OG Billie Eilish fragrance. I haven't gotten my hands on the new one yet, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get it because I did see the notes online, but I don't know. But I love this. This is actually my second time repurchasing this size. This size, this is my second time repurchasing it. Love this. This is another one like the vanilla bourbon from Mix Bar where it's more like giving me warm and cozy vibes in the, the fall and the winter. So I would never wear this in like the dead of the, like the spring and the summer. Maybe in like the nighttime, but never during the daytime, depending on what I wear with it. But this, <sighs> love, I will always have this in my collection. And clearly the bottle is really pretty to look at. Yet again, the Billie Eilish is kind of like moderate for longevity, kind of moderate. So like five to six hours on me, at least five hours. Miami Glow from JLo. I heard a lot of people, specifically Kathleen Lights, talk about this scent because she had it in her collection, spoke so highly of it. I don't know if I like it. This is probably one of those ones, like the Blackberry Tonic. where I have to grow. Like this is a grower for me, to be completely honest, because at first I didn't really care for this. 
It definitely smells like an alcoholic drink that you would have on a beach vacation. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait later on, maybe in the summer months, maybe if I'm going on vacation and I'm just submerged in water, maybe it'll smell a lot better, I don't know, but as of right now, I probably wouldn't repurchase this scent again, so. Damn, J-Lo, you got me with the bottle, but with the scent, I don't know. This is a, a toilet after all, so probably doesn't have that bad of a longevity, but so far it's like, eh, okay. I'm trying to hold up all these fragrances in my hand, but I have four fragrances from Ariana Grande. I have the uh, Ari by Ariana Grande. This is my second time repurchasing this scent. Probably one of my favorites from her, like, OG, like one of her first fragrances, her, one of her first fragrances that she ever released. I love this. It just smells very pretty. Personally, I don't know how to describe it, but very, it's a very easy reach for me. Like, guarantee I'm definitely gonna get compliments when wearing this scent. Oh my God, it's very like sweet berries. I don't know how to describe it, but it definitely has some sort of like raspberry note in there that I really do enjoy in the scent. It's not super like immature, but I don't know. I feel like any, I don't know. It depends on the fragrance though. But yeah, I really enjoy the scent. Next, this is probably one of my least favorites, but it's not a bad one, but I just don't find myself reaching for this a lot. But Sweet Like Candy. I like the scent, but because of how sweet it is, I don't reach for it all that much. I mostly reach for it whenever I'm just like going to sleep and stuff like that. Because trust and believe, we all have those fragrances, colognes or anything like that, that we just like to go to sleep with. To me, I don't mind wearing a perfume or a body mist to go to sleep. But this one's very sweet. Hence the name Sweet Like Candy, but I don't find myself reaching for this a whole lot whenever I'm going out in public, you know what I mean? So this one's probably one of those ones that I probably wouldn't repurchase this again, but I'm happy to own it, of course. I think the Ari one was my first ever fragrance purchase that I've ever purchased the full size from, from Ariana Grande. This is probably a second one, the full size, second full size that I've ever purchased myself from Ariana Grande. This is Cloud, the intense version. I have a Sharpie marker that tells me how much I have left. So yeah, as you can see, I definitely, based on that Sharpie marker, I have like a pretty decent amount left, but definitely gonna have to repurchase this again because I enjoy this. I really enjoy this. I really enjoy this. I do layer this with the fresh, I have the body lotions right here. I have fresh coconut and cotton. I layer this with this one, and I also, I could layer it with the Mod Vanilla as well, but because it's kind of like sisters a little bit, more like, yeah, mostly like sisters, sisters or brothers. And I can also layer in the stars from Bath & Body Works with Ariana Grande Cloud as well, the 2.0, the intense version. I'm debating whether I should get the OG Cloud, but I heard a lot of people say that it doesn't last on them that much. I don't know. Mod Vanilla, I like this scent, but is it a favorite of mine? Probably not, but I like the sprayer, but the longevity is kind of moderate. Yet again, this is one of those scents that's also easy reach for me, but yeah. I don't know if I would ever repurchase this again. I do like the aspect of the vanilla in here because it's very different to anything that she's had in her line previously. I haven't smelled all of her fragrances, especially the Frankie Grande one, I think. But but to me, even though that has that aspect of cloud in there, it smells completely different to anything that she has in her line. But I have other vanilla scents that I kind of like a lot more though. So I'm debating on this one, but it's a pretty decent scent though. The last brand that I have is Kaali and I have six fragrances from them. Whoa, the most fragrances that I ever have from a brand because I obsessed, I'm obsessed 
with this brand. Most of these fragrances I've gotten compliments on from my coworkers. Compliments. Like maybe one or two, maybe three, maybe like just me in the back room just re-spritzing and then it's like, oh my God, what is that? And I was like, oh, that's just me. Low, not like five million people giving me compliments and stuff because random strangers don't give me compliments like that, but most of my coworkers do, but Utopia Vanilla Cocoa, the first fragrance that I ever purchased from this brand. And now here I am buying mostly all of their fragrances. I did get a little Kaylee Get Discovery set last year for Christmas. I tried the invite only, that's not my favorite. Uh, probably my least favorite from the whole line, but oh my God. Just like the um, Coconut Palm from Next Bar, this is like a creamy coconut, like vanilla, like Utopia Vanilla Cocoa 21. I love the bottle. It's so beautiful to look at. If you bring it up to the light, it has aspects of pink and blue. It's like very dreamy to look at. And I just get hypnotized every time I like look at the bottle because I mean, it's like blinds you as well, but oh my gosh, it's a creamy coconut with vanilla and aspects of like floral and I believe bergamot, don't quote me, but I love this scent. Hopefully I'm trying not to sound like a broken record, but I can't figure out any other words besides love, addicting, or obsessed, but <sighs> next is Musk 12. This was one of the fragrances that was in that KLE Discovery set and that little sample vial that was musk, gone, completely gone. Uh, and I love the little asp the sprayer on here. I just love it. Cause you do not have to re like, tss, 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 tss. you just, whew, whew, cause it's like a con continuous mist. There's this musk that I enjoy, and there's a couple of musks that I probably don't really care for, but this one's one that is very pretty. Like this is a very pretty scent. Like if I smell this on somebody, it will be like very pretty. Very like one of those easy scents to wear. Like if you want to go like on errands and stuff like that, you just don't want to, don't want to be like too intense, too cloying, but you want people to smell you a little bit definitely this one and the bottle is really pretty really pretty then I have left best burning cherry first when I when I smelled this I was okay with it I was okay because it does have the fragrance notes on the back it does have burning cherry raspberry praline palo santo guayaquil and patchouli I get the cherry I do get it but on me I mostly get like that aspect of the like the woody notes the palo santo the guayaquil maybe a hint of the patchouli but so far i've been enjoying this i've been enjoying this right now i'm not going to reach for it all that often because i feel like this is a perfect scent strictly just for the fall months but i want to see what fragrances i could layer with this scent la fest but the last three fragrances i have are the vanilla royale sugar patchouli i got this when huda beauty was having a fragrance sale on their website so i did not pay full price for this but i already have the travel spray so i was like i heard this was limited edition and i was like clearly i have to get it because the bottle so stunning and i love love i'm not gonna talk to you too much about that fragrance because we did what well, we talked about the travel spray but the last two is probably my most repurchased fragrance that I've ever repurchased in the history of me buying fragrances. Purchased this at least like four times now. This is the fourth time that I've ever repurchased this scent. Vanilla 28. If you want to smell like a snack, definitely this one. Or if you want to just layer these two together, you could definitely just do that. But, oh my God. Oh my god, my oh, these are the ones out of all of my fragrances I get the most compliments on. I get compliments on all of my other fragrances too, but these are the ones wherever I go to work and I spray it in my back room before I go out on the floor, 
I get so many people it's like, oh my god, what is that scent? It smells like syrup. I was like, oh yeah, that's this one. Oh, it smells like apples. So it's like red berries or something like that. Like mostly just apples and florals. Usually the most I obsessed. I can't say nothing bad about these fragrances. I really, really enjoy these. And of course, I'm going to continue to purchase these fragrances time and time and time again because I never get tired of these. So that's it for all of my fragrances. Hopefully that's not too boring for y'all today. I apologize if it is too long. I tried not to keep it so long, but I try to... Hopefully I don't sound like a broken record saying the same thing over and over again, but... Let me know down in the comments down below what videos for me to make next. I'll see you guys in my next video. And let me know. Let me know what uh, fragrances you have in your collection. Maybe you don't have fragrances. Just let me know like what body mists, body lotions. Maybe you're just not into body mists, body lotions at all. That's cool. I mean, like some fragrances can be very like polarizing, can be like giving a headache. I can understand that, but yeah, let me know. Let me know what videos to make next, and I'll definitely do that. And subscribe, follow me on my social media, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.